Life TV is touring the northern border with Media Central, along with foreign press from around the world, who have come to see the scene of the abduction, which sparked the Second Lebanon War, and receive explanations from Reserve Major General Yaakov Marom on the current status of the border. It's a very unique point. You have a valley, it's, it, you have hills around it. If you don't sit here, you don't see what's going on. And the Hezbollah, uh, in my point of view, planned this operation for a long time. How long? They, they bomb, I, I would say months, easily. Uh, they, bom they bomb all the Israeli strongholds along the border, so it was very difficult for the IDF headquarters in the first 20, 30 minutes to understand what's going on. Because they, we have a width attack all over the front. arrived at a press conference at the Kfar Giladi Hotel, where the press is briefed on the tour's itinerary, and here's an analysis of the Second Lebanon War. Some of the information stayed in Tel Aviv instead of coming to the units in the front line, so they didn't, they didn't know anything. The main issue on the table is Israel have improved our strategic situation in the region after Second Lebanon War. We arrived at the memorial site for the nine reserve soldiers killed at the entrance to Kfar Giladi by a direct Katyusha rocket hit while waiting for transportation to the front. We continued on to an IDF post along the border and past the village of Rajar, which is split down the middle by the international border with Lebanon, and the Shaba farms, which have been the focus of a territorial dispute between Israel, Syria, and Lebanon. We arrived at the IDF post, which overlooks much of southern Lebanon and was instrumental during the recent war. Due to security constraints, we couldn't photograph much of the post, but the Lebanese villages, where fierce battles took place during the war, and even the famed de Beaufort, could be seen clearly, as could UNIFIL's deployment. We continued on to the Christian Arab village of Jish and heard a local restaurant owner's version of the events in Lebanon. I, I heard from my relative in Australia that the Lebanese people there, they, uh, they want the war in Lebanon. They want? Yeah, because they want the people free there. That's what I heard from them. And they, they think that the Israeli people, the people are uh, heroes because they are um, they are fighting the war to freedom fighting of the Hezbollah Lebanon. and getting out from Lebanon Hezbollah and they will assist. All the foreign correspondents gathered for a joint photograph and left the north with new insights.